Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Um, the topic of this message is quite interesting. I had a great conversation with, let me see, Kirsten. I think her name is. Forgive me if I didn't say it right. Uh, um, it was a quite interesting conversation to me. I think God, you know, uh, gave, uh, set it up. But, you know, uh, I was talking about something. And, you know, I feel that to do this video might be kind of off the topic we was talking about. But, you know, um, the problem is the, the topic is missed, the reality of respecting opposition. You know, I think I did a message of the note. Well, well, or more likely, uh, a quick, the reality of stop ignoring the obstacle course. Stop ignoring the obstacle course. Here's the thing about people that drives me nuts watching their performance and how they live life. And too many people are doing this. People are looking at life like life is supposed to cater to their uh, decisions. You know, uh, you know, you you like, you know, you think like when you riding the road, you think somebody should get out of your way because you're trying to hurry up and get to work or someone cut in front of you or. You know, uh, you know, difficulty, pre difficult situations presents itself, and now you're upset and angry that something difficult or somebody's doing something dumb or stupid concerning something that is interfering with you uh, trying to do something, trying to go to work or trying to go to school. You're going to school, and someone, you know, just you know, talking or whatever, trying to distract you. You know, people are so, um, it becomes ignorant to obstacles that they think the, they think the uh, life is not supposed to have obstacles or they think life is supposed to have less obstacles, crazily. Um, no, that's not reality for those that real live in reality obstacles are supposed to be there each and every day i mean the obstacles are going to be there as much as people are not following the word of god as much as people are not you know uh uh doing the things of god uh not you know people going to position themselves of making bad decisions and bad choices because People, the, the God of this world has blinded the minds of men, blinding them in their, the desires of the heart that they want to do what they want to do whenever they want to do. And who cares about other people trying to do something in life? They want to do what they want to do. It's a, it's a, the mass majority of people has that mindset in, come in, in the world. So you must accept that reality that you will, you're going to have an obstacle in your daily life. You know what I'm saying? And it's like everybody's shocked that it happens, and then they're shocked, so they're frustrated that it happened. They're like, oh, you know, and it just happened. It's like, you know, they're frustrated and they're mad at people, and they're mad at you know the person that did it, and da 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 da. And the thing is, I was you know talking to a person. Uh, at the laundromat, I mentioned something to him, said, you know, I asked him a question, you know, are we, are you going against people or are you going against a system? You know, and the thing is, the problem is a lot of people, you know, the world system is trying to keep you against people to ignore the system. The kingdom of heaven is trying to get you to go against the system and not think it's all about people that is the problem you know what I'm saying it's not a people problem it's a system problem but the world wants you to believe it's a people problem so because the world system of course the principalities and powers and the rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places want you to wrestle against flesh they want you to wrestle against flesh they want the flesh and blood to become the obstacle not the system 
of sin that is developing inside of people that's causing them to make bad decisions become the obstacle and you be an example towards them to help them want to have a desire to follow the right pattern but oh no let's wrestle against flesh and blood let's argue with people let's you know fight people let's get mad at people let's you know get you know wrestle against flesh and blood you know and I told him the example that I did in many videos I mean I showed in other videos that you know what if this guy get in a fight with another guy at a bar and stuff like that you know I, you know I get you know I wonder if that or any girl get in a fight with somebody I wonder if those two tell the story of their life you know what I'm saying? They tell the story of their life and where they came from and what they went through in life. Would after after hearing the stories, would they be wanting to still fight the person? You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing: the ignorance that we have concerning about people. People, there's a cause and effect. There's a cause why a person is filled with rage and filled with anger. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell people, hurt hearts. Satan's process is about hurting a heart, you know what I'm saying, to, to produce hurt, pain, and disappointment. It's, I call it the hurt, pain, the HP, HP disease, you know, uh, HPD disease, you know, hurt, pain, and disappointment. That's what people are, you know, what's going to get the energy of negativity to produce out of them. It's going to be based upon that. And the thing is, People don't see that. People don't care to see that. They just know that person is getting on my nerves. That person is treating me bad. But people don't see the obstacle course. They don't see the spiritual obstacle course that's going on. In, in, in the thing is, in, but they see the natural obstacle course. They see this man has did something to me. That This woman did something to me. They did this. In, they see the natural obstacle course. And they fighting the wrong enemy. Which according to the love of God, it says we're supposed to love our enemies, bless those that curse us, pray for them that spitefully usually, that we know we so we can fight the real enemy. The enemy is a people that's creating a system, principalities and powers and rules and artists. Spiritual wickedness in high places is supposed to be the enemy that we're supposed to fight. But unfortunately, we don't understand, you know, we will ignore this obstacle course of the principalities and powers. But we will fight the flesh and blood, this easy flesh and blood, because that person's right there. You can yell at the person. You can, you know, start an argument with a person. You can fight another person. Simple. But this, oh, this is kind of far-fetched. This is kind of difficult. So I'm not going to deal with something far-fetched and kind of difficult. But I'm just going to deal with something easy because the person's right there. I can yell at them. I can yell at her. I can hurt her. her and, I, it, and it will make me feel better <laughs> our feelings fooled by our feelings that all what Satan wants you to operate in folly to be fooled by your feelings that you think that you have accomplished something but you accomplish nothing but more turmoil more confusion conflict and chaos which what the system Satan needs to get in this world that he can have permission to steal kill and destroy each and everybody and that's the game he's been playing. And as you can see about the graves that's in the ground, he's doing a good job of doing that. Um, and it's sad because we lack to see the important obstacle course. And I'm learning the, op the true obstacle course is our heart. You know, it's going to our heart. It, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind and love our neighbor as you love yourself. The obstacle course will always start with the heart. As what King Solomon says, uh, Proverbs three, uh, I mean four and twenty three. You know, uh, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it, and the issues of life, and the issues of life, the issues. How much issues? They're going to be negative issues, or they're going to be positive issues. But that is going to determine on which obstacle course that you're going to ignore. You're going to, uh, I mean, you're going to be aware of. Are you going to be or ignore? Are you going to be aware of the obstacle course of the earthly obstacle course, flesh and blood? Or are you going to go on a spiritual obstacle course of coming against the principalities and powers and rules of darkness? 
the spiritual wickedness in high places is up to the individual to see what in. But guess what? People are going to ignore this obstacle course. The flesh is going to ignore the spiritual obstacle course. But the spirit is going to face the spiritual obstacle course. But And it's going to not see that flesh and blood is an enemy, but be fighting the right enemy according to the word of God and follow the instructions of God. But the thing is, look, as much as y'all stuck in y'all bubble and y'all carnal mind and thinking that people is your enemy, and as much as you will strengthen your bubble. See, Satan wants you to create this bubble, you know, and make it thick as possible within your own self. And then he's waiting for, and then all of a sudden he got his, somebody going to have their needles ready. They're going to say the, something or do something to you to bust your bubble and to get, get you more worse in fear mainly in fear than ever before that you will make the wrong conscious decisions of your life concerning whatever decisions that you're trying to make with your life and you will create your own disaster you know as what king solomon says you know what i'm saying he was talking about you know the, the wicked will fall against their own wickedness their own wickedness will you know bring the death of not somebody else's wickedness but their own wickedness it's the problem that people need to understand, but I hope and pray that this message will help you go and try to win the, the true obstacle course, which is the principalities and powers of rules of darkness, spiritual wickedness, high places, by the power of Jesus Christ, and not take on a false obstacle course that's going to keep your life of living hell and living mess, whatever you want to terribly call it. All right, that's the message. God be the glory here and forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.